This is one of the last key stolen issues. Want to know what it is? Please stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, and of course, this is We Love Comics, and I cannot wait to show you this comic. I'm very excited about this. Um, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, know that um, a couple of years ago, my uh, house was robbed and a bunch of my comics were stolen from me, which included all of my mega key issues. Um, I've gone over what they were and slowly but surely I've been trying to get them all back and this is the last one of the key issues that got stolen from me that I finally got. This was for a while my white whale because there were several times I've even won it and the person or persons never would send it or there'd be some kind of problem or what have you. And oh, you're getting a cat. That's Oregon. So this is a lower grade book. But to me, just the fact that I have it back in my collection, I am thrilled. And I, I really want to instill in people to never give up. Because it can take you years to get something. But if you put your effort into it, you put your passion into it, you make it exciting and you have that I'm not going to give up attitude, you will eventually succeed. You fail when you give up. So failure, giving up guarantees failure. So like I said, this is no 9.8 by any means. I mean, the one I had was probably a 9.2 and this is nowhere near that. But at this point, I'll take what I can get. So, I cannot wait to show this. This is a key Silver Age book. Again, it took me a while to acquire it. Uh, I paid a decent price, but nothing that's going to be, you know, super substantial or substantial. But it's a book I've wanted for a long time, and I'm glad I got it before this character was announced in a movie. Because, in my opinion, it's just a matter of time. And if you watch one of the videos that I did um, about a week or two ago of seven books that I think might have the chance to kind of go ballistic, this is the one that I didn't have the show because I didn't own it, but now I do. So before I reveal it, just make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise uh, subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, you just have to basically hit subscribe and let me know in the comments section. So with that being said, I'm very proud to show this book. And we have Amazing Spider-Man number 14. I have been trying to get this comic back for the longest time. Now, obviously, like I said, this is a lower grade. The one thing I actually think it's kind of cool about it, it's got these breaks that break color, but it almost looks like a spider web because it kind of branches out a little bit here and starts there. So in a way, I don't really mind that. But as you could see, there is a big color break here. There's a little piece missing here. Um, I will check it, but they said the staples are intact. But you could see there is a tear there, um, right there where the staple is. So I will check it. But, I mean, this is probably a 1.8 to a 2.0 at best. But even a 0 0.5 goes for about what I paid for this. So I won this in an auction. Uh, contact them, make sure I told them if they could secure it properly, which they did. Very happy with this book. With shipping and handling, I only paid $413.99. Now, if you don't know about this book, this is the first appearance of the Green Goblin. Uh, the one that I had was beautiful. It's a shame that I couldn't ever get that. Because, I, I mean, that book would probably be at an eight, dollars $9,000 book now. But there was nothing. The only problem was right here in that book, it had a color-breaking crease. 
and it was probably about across the face on a diagonal of the Hulk. But other than that, it was bright yellow with bright reds. It was beautiful. And um, unfortunately, with the prices the, the way they are now, I can't afford that anymore. So if all I can afford is a lower comic, I'll take it. But um, I want to really get people to understand a different way of collecting. And a bunch of people that have been finally starting to take my advice are starting to see that, you know, if you put the right effort into it, if you put the positive part into it and you don't just buy the first one and you kind of wait a little while, there will always be opportunities. And I hope this shows with the books that I show on my channel. You know, I'm no millionaire. I don't have a million dollars in my account. You know, I don't have $10,000 in my account. I work and live day to day, but I never give up. I keep looking for deals. I do everything. I try and do everything the right way. I mean, I don't go around stealing. I don't go on, you know, take advantage of, you know, programs and welfare things because I don't need them. I'm not saying that's bad if you do, but if you're doing it for the right reason, that's okay. But you'll always find ways. You just got to not give up. So I know there's going to be people out there that say, I can never get. If you say never, you're fulfilling your own prophecy. Think of it as, I don't have something that I want yet. And you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to do to make it happen? You have to think. Can you do a trade? Can you mow somebody's lawn? Can you come up with an idea? Can you take the time to go to 50,000 garage sales and find nothing until you find the 50,000 and first garage sale that has it? Because I promise you, if you go to 50,000 yard sales, which might take a while, and you don't find anything, and then the 50,000 and first time you find something, that's the only one you're going to care about. So leave the stuff that's in the past in the past. Think towards the moment that you're in and the future goals that you want to strive for and have fun with it. Because like I said, this is dramatically lower than the comic I had. The comic I had was, like I said, at least a 9.0, if not higher. I paid under $100 for it back in the 80s. I paid four times that now for a book that's probably six times worse condition. And I, yet I'm still happy because this is a book I loved as a child or a teenager when I bought it. It was one of my oldest books at the time. A key issue of a major Amazing Spider-Man villain. And eventually this is going to see, you know, a big boost one day. So I'm glad I got it before... One day they announce Harry Osborn and uh, Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin. Who knows if they ever bring the Hobgoblin in, but that's it. So I paid, like I said, $413.99. That includes shipping and handling. Very happy with it. Uh, one day I might be able to, excuse me, acquire more. Because you guys know me, I like to have at least doubles, if not more. Because eventually what I want to do is I want to trade a bunch of my my mega key doubles that I have and try and get myself an Amazing Fantasy 15. And I want to prove to you guys, it may take me a couple of years. It may be tomorrow, I don't know. Because I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. But eventually I'm going to do a video showing all the duplicates of keys, key comics that I have. And maybe there's somebody out there that has an Amazing Fantasy 15 where they have more than one and they'd be willing to do a trade so I can show people that you don't always have to have the money to get something you want. You just got to have the drive, the motivation, and the thought process to come up with an idea. So mark my words. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. One day you will see a video where I show an Amazing Fantasy 15. Like I said, it might be years from now. But I'm going to do my best to achieve it. Obviously, unless I win the lottery, I don't have the money to purchase one because it's about six to $7,000 just for a 0 0.5. I can't afford that. But if I can use some of my key issues to make a trade to get one, then we'll see what happens. So mark my words, one day I will show one here. And maybe it'll prove to all of you, even the doubters, that there's always a way if you don't give up and you focus on your goals. So thank you very much for listening. If you saw this far, show many how, tell me how many pieces of cardboard I'm holding up here. And then just in case there's only two, 
Leave that in the comment section. I love hearing your thoughts, so please share them with me. Uh, let me know if you tried any of my advice and let me know if it has helped or made you think in a different way. Because trust me, you know, it's it's sad sometimes that people have, you know, things that they say about me. And these are coming from people who don't know me at all. They just speculate. And it, it does hurt in a way. But you know what? I hope you could see through my actions that I am all about trying to help the community, trying to get people to think in a different way. Because whether you spend $5,000 on this book or $5 for this book, it doesn't affect me either way. But if I can help you save the money, then I'm happy to do it. And I don't ask for anything in return other than maybe a thumbs up for a video, and maybe a comment, and hopefully I've earned your subscription. So if you did, I'd love the thumbs up. If you'd love to subscribe, please do. And uh, wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Because even if you haven't gotten yours yet, or even if you've already gotten yours, support the people that are on there. Because believe it or not, some people are very excited about having these. Because probably 90% of the people that you'll see in the surprise subscriber shout out asked for it. So obviously it means something to them. So if you see somebody with today's surprise subscriber shout out, you know what? Leave them a little comment. Show them some support. Let's get some positive things going on in this community the negative stuff has got to go and the only way you get the negative stuff to disappear is by making it irrelevant and being kind yourself so let's get that going so thanks for listening have a great night and don't forget it's not you it's not i it's we love comics and i'm really glad to have this in my collection even though that looks like a green frankenstein's monster Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.